He is known for being a German Indologist and Professor of Philosophy at University of Kiel. He is recognized for his strong influence from Arthur Schopenhauer and his friendship with Friedrich Nietzsche and Swami Vivekananda. His name is Paul Jacob Dusen. Paul Jacob Dusen, a German Indologist and philosopher, embarked on a remarkable journey of intellectual exploration and cultural appreciation. Inspired by the teachings of Arthur Schopenhauer, Dusen developed a deep fascination for Sanskrit and Hinduism. In his pursuit of knowledge, he became friends with influential figures like Friedrich Nietzsche and Swami Vivekananda, forging connections that would shape his scholarly endeavors. Driven by his passion for Sanskrit and Hindu philosophy, Dusen Sanskritist his name to Devasena, a symbolic gesture reflecting his profound admiration for the language. Like many of his European counterparts, Dusen eagerly participated in the Western discovery of Sanskrit and Hinduism that took place in British India, Germany, France, and England. As a testament to his dedication and expertise, Dusen founded the Schopenhauer Society in 1911, an organization that celebrated the philosophical legacy of Arthur Schopenhauer. In 1912, he assumed the role of the first editor of the Schopenhauer Yearbook, a scholarly journal that further promoted the understanding and exploration of Schopenhauer's philosophy. Dusen's profound impact on the study of Sanskrit and Hinduism continues to be felt today. His lyrical admiration for the language and culture paved the way for future generations of scholars to delve into the rich tapestry of Indian philosophy. Paul Jacob Dusen's legacy as a philosopher, Indologist, and advocate for cross-cultural understanding remains an inspiration for intellectual pursuits worldwide. Paul Dusen, born on January 7, 1845, in Oberdreis, Neuwied, was the son of a clergyman and grew up in modest circumstances. He developed a deep interest in philosophy, particularly the works of German philosopher Schopenhauer and the philosophy of Kant. It was during his studies that he became friends with Friedrich Nietzsche, forming a lifelong bond with him. Dusen pursued his education at Bonn, Tübingen, and Berlin universities, focusing on Plato's philosophy and writing his dissertation on the subject. He went on to hold various academic positions, including Privatdocent and Extraordinarius at the University of Berlin, and later as Ordinarius at the University of Kiel. Alongside his teaching career, Dusen dedicated himself to editing the Schopenhauer Yearbook and working on an edition of Schopenhauer's works. However, it was a lecture by Professor Christian Lassen on the Shakuntala at the University of Bonn that ignited Dusen's passion for Sanskrit and Hinduism. This newfound interest led to his first publication, The Elements of Metaphysics, released in 1894. Dusen continued to delve into Hindu philosophy, translating texts such as, The Sutra of the Vedanta, and, The Philosophy of the Upanishads, both published in 1906, and, The System of the Vedanta, in 1912. His visit to India in 1904 resulted in the publication of, My Indian Reminiscences, in 1912, offering unique insights into his experiences. Dusen's scholarship was highly regarded, described as immense, perceptive, and meticulous. He developed a comprehensive understanding of Sanskrit and Hindu philosophy, using the Brahma Sutra and Adi Shankara's commentary as the foundation for his work on the system of the Vedanta. His contributions to Orientalism and Sanskrit studies placed him among esteemed scholars such as George Boucher, Max Muller, and Franz Bopp. Paul Dusen's dedication to unraveling the depths of Hindu philosophy and his meticulous research continued to shed light on the richness of Indian spirituality. His work serves as a gateway for Western audiences to explore the profound wisdom contained within Sanskrit texts, allowing us to broaden our understanding of divinity and morality in our daily lives. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.